This is our second video surrounding the endocrine system, and today we're going over Addison's disease and Cushing syndrome. Let's look at the complete opposite now, and that's Cushing syndrome, or our big buff man, Cushy Connor. Cushing syndrome occurs when the adrenal glands produce too many steroid hormones, specifically cortisol. When we have an adrenal gland that is over-executing its normal functions, we experience Cushing syndrome, a cushion of steroids or an excess in normal function that should not be there. Just by knowing the function of the adrenal gland, we can pretty much list all of our signs and symptoms of Cushing syndrome. High blood pressure, high sodium, high blood sugar, high risk of infections, excess of body hair, big round abdomen, overweight, moon face, buffalo hump, stretch marks, rosy cheeks, and to remember all of these symptoms, don't forget to picture Cushy Connor. He is big, he is round, he's hairy, and he has high lab values. Two big characteristics of Cushing syndrome for the NCLEX, moon face and buffalo hump. Do not forget these. Now, why does this happen? Why would someone be diagnosed with Cushing syndrome? Cushing syndrome occurs when the body is exposed to high levels of cortisol from exogenous or endogenous factors. The most common cause is long-term steroid use. A little tidbit of knowledge here, if the cause is a tumor on the pituitary gland, which causes overproduction of ACTH, we call this Cushing's disease. So you've been diagnosed with Cushing syndrome, now how do you treat it? The whole problem with Cushing syndrome is an overproduction of steroid hormones, specifically cortisol due to an internal or external factor. So we have to eliminate that factor. If this is an exogenous factor, we gradually reduce steroid dosage to a level that will effectively control Cushing syndrome and treat the disorder it's initially being taken for. If this is an endogenous factor, we surgically remove the tumor or affected gland. In Cushing syndrome, we surgically remove the affected adrenal gland, and in Cushing's disease, we surgically remove the tumor on the pituitary gland. NCLEX tip, if we remove a tumor or gland, we must replace the hormones that are lost with lifelong steroid therapy. If left untreated and there's an abrupt halt in cortisol production, the patient may enter Addisonian crisis. Now, what is Addisonian crisis? Remember when I said steroid replacement can be a little touchy. It's incredibly important to be on the lookout for too much steroid replacement and too little steroid replacement by the patient, and this can happen in both conditions. Our main source of treatment for Addison's is lifelong steroid treatment. If the patient fails to adhere to this treatment plan or Addison's disease goes undiagnosed, patients are at increased risk of reaching Addisonian crisis. In the same way, if we cut out the adrenal or pituitary gland from Cushy Connor, we're completely stopping that cortisol production, which means that these patients also need to be monitored with lifelong steroid therapy, or else they run the risk of entering Addisonian crisis too. Addisonian crisis is a life-threatening state caused by insufficient levels of cortisol in the body, which leave the body in a crisis mode. Remember, stress equals cortisol. We need cortisol to deal with stress. So you can guess that one of the main triggers of Addisonian crisis is a failure to compensate in times of increased stress, surgery, illness, injury, infection, etc. To treat Addisonian crisis, the nurse will give an IV push of steroids and, if needed, begin fluids or dextrose for signs of low BP or hypoglycemia. We monitor for swelling by fluid retention and weight gain, hyperglycemia, risk for cataracts, and slow wound healing. And that wraps up Addison's disease and Cushing syndrome. I see you pausing this video, taking notes left and right. You don't need to do that. Everything you heard is available in study sheet form on my Etsy shop. Check it out. I love it. That's great. That's Woo! Awesome. Yeah, like, subscribe, everything. <laughs>